It has happened. The unthinkable, the impossible. Fleetwood have signed a defender, a centre-back. Finally, what we really needed. Hello, lads and ladies, and welcome to this. Now, today, we are back for another transfer reaction video. Now, today, the mighty Cod Army have today confirmed the loan signing on a season-long loan of centre-back and 19-year-old Morgan Boys. Now, just what we needed, and again, we've reached out to contacts who probably need time in football to progress if i'm honest morgan boys had a successful season last year with liverpool's under 23s however there's a difference between under 23s and men's football in league one league two and going down the pyramid into the non-league so it's it's a really good move for him he will get game time while at fleetwood and like i say we do like progressing younger um fitter, healthier players who want to get better in the game and want to learn, who want to adapt and we give them that stepping stone to do so. You look at Callum Connolly, how his loan spell helped him last year. You look at Lewis Gibson, Championship Clubs are interested in his services. Harry Suter, 18 months with Fleetwood, now he's been linked with a lot of League One and Championship clubs that he's whilst back being in training with Stoke City. So it's a good signing and I think Joey can progress him. As well as what's another good factor, you don't find many good left-footed centre-backs in the lower league. You seem to, there's a lot more right-footed centre-backs. But again, he looks like it's a Lewis Gibson replacement. Lewis Gibson who added balance when he came in. I don't think he lost a game in that run when he came in. Obviously, we lost in the playoffs, but again, he really helped us. And that left footed player added balance to the back three at the time being. So, I'm wondering how we will set up with Morgan in the side. Morgan again has played for Wales under 19s and has been progressing into Wales under 21. So, it shows that at 19 years of age at Liverpool, there is talent there. And he wouldn't be at Liverpool or playing for Wales if he wasn't very good. Again, he played for Liverpool last year in the Cup. He played in their 5-0 defeat against Aston Villa. However, it was pretty much Liverpool's under-23s that day when Liverpool went to go and play in the Club World Cup. But again, a lot of Liverpool fans adore him, obviously want him to do well. They like a young player coming through, through the side. A lot of them haven't done that recently, but obviously look at Steven Gerrard. They signed Jordan Henson at an early age, so they do like progressing players. But a loan spell for Morgan will really help him, in my opinion. In January, he signed a new deal with Liverpool. However, six months on, he has joined us on loan. And you think at 19, he needs to get out playing because... Even though he had a good successful season with the under-23s last year, a loan spell with the mighty Fleetwood will really help him. And you look at the players that we've bought or loaned in the past, how we can improve them. I look at Charlie Taylor, a young lad, didn't play many games at Leeds, signed him in League 2, we thought, here we go, he's going to be a bit of inexperience. But again, left-footed, could play probably left-footed centre-half, but better as a full-back. Again, one of the best players I've seen at Fleetwood behind just behind Jamie Vardy, again did really well and I think we can take confidence in that where we sign young lads on low who need to grow, learn football, learn the environment and I think it'll really help his career if I'm honest with you. It's a great signing and I'm really happy about it. He did obviously play under Neil Critchley last year who did leave Liverpool's under 23s. They've now got a new manager in, I think it's Gary O'Neill who's gone in there as assistant manager as well but it's a good move for obviously him to come to Fleet, Fleetwood. Richly did really like him for the under-23s. He obviously now at Blackpool and brought a few in. He's played with some good players in the past uh, at such an early age. And I'm really excited. He's going to wear the number five shirt while at Fleetwood. And I really do like signing players on loan and seeing how they can adapt. Because Suter, again, it wasn't an exciting signing because he hadn't played many games. And you don't know what to expect. So we need to give him the opportunity to play games, get in the building. And obviously, Poof was an amazing venue. We will improve. Um, he's here and I'm so excited we got him because Liverpool's academy is world class, second to none. Um, his development there and development at Poolfoot will be honestly on the same level because we've still got a £10 million state-of-the-art training ground. We've got a good group of lads. We've got obviously Clint Hill who's a centre-back who's been obviously young once as a defender growing up, uh, getting into a big side as well, QPR winning promotion, getting a, obviously going to Rangers. So Clint Hill can really help him in my opinion as a good coach and a good leader. Joey can give him some of his knowledge as well. So I think it's a good sign, it's a good long time 
kind of, nobody expected it, if I'm honest with you. When it was came up, I was shocked. I was expecting John Flanagan or Mark Howard. So again, surprise, good signing, good loan spell. Um, a year will help him, I hope. And I just hope he gets the game time he needs, if I'm honest with you. Because you see a lot of young lads play for Liverpool, but can't do it for lower league teams. But I honestly believe in his talents and he looked the real deal against Villa last year. He looked strong, he looked quick, he looked energetic. And like I say, Neil Critchie was a big fan of him. It's a good spell for him to get out on loan. He's not going to get into Liverpool's first team just yet with Virgil in front of him. But again, a good loan spell and I'm hoping he can break into our side this season. He did take part in training today with the lads, which is good to see him bonding with the lads already because it was important. We got bodies in early to help us kind of gel the team together. We were without one first team centre-half apart from young James Hill. Um, who is 18 years of old, more or less in the development squad, but I think he will develop this year from honest into the first team. Again, it's good to see he was at Highbury taking the pictures, announcing the signing, and I'm very happy with the signing, and I'm hoping he can flourish while at Fleetwood. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think of the signing? Let me know. What do you think of Morgan Boy? Do you think it's going to be a good signing, or do you think he won't do as well as you think at Fleetwood? I'm hoping it's going to be a fantastic season for us, and hopefully it will be like Harry Suter as well while wow, fleet with an absolute machine thank you for watching can you get 60 likes on this one please subscribe down below if you are new to the channel we are getting close to 6,000. also turn the bell notification on so you never miss out on another video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video up the cons